Hi. It's been like 17 days since I've picked up my camera. Let's talk about it. I have little bits and pieces to show you guys along the way, but we finally hit a patch in van life that made us really question if we wanted to continue on. And I think as I take you down the story, I'm going to laugh at myself because it's probably going to seem like these were just minor hiccups. As quickly as they started to add on top of each other is why we just thought maybe throwing in the towel is easier. I'm thankful that we didn't. It all started in Wyoming at the rock shop. After leaving Sinks Canyon, we went to the rock shop so that Cody could get some climbing in. And he ended up sending a cool V6 and a couple of other climbs but quickly after that came home to the van to make some yeah. dinner and proceeded to chop off half of his thumbnail and the tip of his finger so as you can imagine that cut that bit of our climbing experience there short not too soon after that while charging up all of our things our faucet had died pretty standard it usually stays charged for about a week but when we try to charge it this time we found that the charging port had snapped in half so after rigging it with some tape we thankfully got it to charge a little bit to last us hopefully an additional week before we could find a replacement After that, we went to the Tetons. And hold on one second, I'm gonna whip you back in time. It was a really good time. We ended up getting our passport stamped and managed to get a magnet before they closed for the year, which is pretty awesome. I didn't realize that they closed for the year and we were there like two days prior to them closing the up shop. So much so that the gift shop did not have barely anything in it. After a couple of days, we got onto YouTube to find out that a van that was parked right next to us is a fellow vlogger and I thought that was pretty cool too. <laughs> I'm literally having to read off of this because I can't remember everything that happened. <sighs> At the Tetons, in a late night convo, we decided to look up the weather because it had already snowed quite a bit. Come to find out, in two days there was about to be a pretty intense snowstorm. And because of the storm that happened while we were there, two roads had gotten closed that were really cutting us off from getting to Yellowstone, to Cody, Wyoming, and into Montana. If we would have chosen to still go there, it would have added almost double the amount of time of driving. So because Mother Nature was kind of telling us no, we took that as an opportunity to head a different direction. At this point, we decided, so today we are tackling getting over these Rocky Mountains and into Idaho because as much as we are acclimating to the cold, it's only 15 right now. That's just, it's a bit much. We're going to get head into Idaho, get over the mountains, and start making our way to Bishop, California, which is honestly a little tiny town that has just felt like home to us for so many years. So we were really excited to head that way. With a very loose plan in place, the following morning we took off and I drove. 98% of the driving is done by Cody because I'm shorter, which makes it easier for me to sit in the passenger seat with my feet up. And then Bambi, our dog, gets a little anxious when we drive and seems to be a little bit more content being on my lap. But as soon as the snow hits the road, it's my turn to shine. Being from upstate New York, I have a little bit more experience with the snow than my desert love. So I took off driving and drove and drove and drove. With the route that we took, we were going to be headed through Salt Lake City, and Cody had a great idea to take advantage of that. It was the first major city that had Amazon lockers that we could actually get things delivered to us, and we needed to get that water faucet taken care of. But then, 
on our way there, we proceeded to break two of our leveling blocks, which really stunk because we've constantly talked about how if we would have had two more blocks, it would have been perfect. To be down two now wasn't ideal. And in the process of that, while we were sitting on a Maverick filling up our water, the van started to make a very odd noise. And that odd noise caused our blowers to stop working and it was stuck on defrost. And then that proceeded to escalate and turn into our heat and AC no longer working and just regular air was blowing through. And then that proceeded to escalate to nothing, nothing at all. As soon as you turn on our blower, you get a whopping nothing. At that point, we had gone through quite a bit and we were like, let's get the parts for not only the van for what we think has gone wrong and finally order another diesel heater so we can get the damn thing installed so at least we have another means of heat for now. But that turned into a whole Escalade in itself. Oh, Salt Lake City. We're not really friends, let's be honest. <laughs> After the fiasco of the heater and the van breaking, busting some leveling blocks, and just kind of feeling like the universe was against us for a little while, I decided let's order some pizza. Just prior to that, we had gotten showers at Planet Fitness, and we were trying to find a way to settle into the city while we wait for these packages. So pizza was the next option. I ordered it, and then it proceeded to take us four times circling the city just to get to the pizza place. And by the time I got the pizza, it was already a little bit cold. We drove to a nearby park that I Overlander had a little point saying that people had successfully stayed. We thought we were good for the night. We took our dog out. The park was actually really cute. It had a super like cute little stream running through it. And then as we walked back to the van, two police officers pulled up right across the street from us. Me being the anxious person that I am, took that as a pretty decent sign that I was not welcome there. They immediately pulled over and got out of their vehicles. So we hopped in the van, started it with our pizza, sitting sadly on the floor, and decided to leave. <laughs> the direction we took was a dead end. So we had to turn around <laughs> and trek it back right through the same area where the cops were still sitting there. And I really took it as a sign. They were just waiting for us to park to pretty much tell us we weren't welcome there. Although the sign said that you are perfectly fine to park there overnight on the weekends. If I wasn't so anxious, I should have just simply gotten out and asked them, but I just didn't want to deal with it. It was already such a long day. So we took off. It was just a truck speeding down the salt flats. Let's just take a moment. <laughs> so leaving Salt Lake wouldn't have been too bad. The next spot that I found for us to sleep at was about 20 minutes away, except we really didn't have any headlights. Back in Tucson, we decided to swap out our light bulbs for LEDs. What we failed to do was point them in the right direction. So our van's eyes were kind of doing one of these and yeah, we really couldn't see. Thankfully, after all of this, a good friend lent us a spot that she knew of near Salt Lake. So we got into the van and drove a bit to Miner's Canyon, which was right next to the water and honestly ended up being a really good just spot to decompress from everything thus far that had happened. We had about four to five days to wait for our packages to get in and having to stay in a parking lot throughout that entire time did not sound delightful. So we opted to go there and on the way way there, stopped at Costco, and we both got ourselves a nice, warm, cozy jacket. And sometimes you just need to treat yourself, and it felt really good to do so. Now, the stay there was almost perfect, except at this point is where I come down with a cold. It was really the icing on top. And at that point, living in a very small van, it was pretty clear that it was just a matter of time before Cody was going to end up with the exact same cold. It would have been one thing if we were just gonna sit and, you know, go through the phases, but in just a couple of days, the diesel heater was about to be delivered and we had a lot of work ahead of us. So 
it definitely wasn't, I mean, it's never ideal to get sick, but it really was not ideal this time. A few days later, we ended up packing up to leave, headed back to the city, scooped up our packages, and Cody even managed to get a haircut. We fixed the paper towel holder. I'm going to be working on a small adjustment in the van. I had what I thought was the bright idea when I installed our paper towel rack and I was like oh I'll put it vertically which is not how it's intended thinking that as we drive I'd be able to stop the paper towels from like unrolling because I've heard people talk about that because it's not supposed to be that way the spring action that holds the paper towels in place is not strong enough so I'm gonna pop out a screw really fast and install it the right way <laughs> Okay, hopefully that fixes the problem. I don't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall. Hung up a much needed photo. Next step is going to be installing a picture frame that has been kind of floating around our van. Early in this year we lost a dear friend of ours and he expressed wanting to do his own version of kind of what we're doing and it felt right to have a picture of him close to our hearts to be able to take along with us on our trip. Alright, let's see here. That might not work. So the stuff on the back of the frame is not making it touch the wall. So, readjusting. Okay. You gotta take off the little hanging piece right here, but I think it should work now. It might not be even, but I'm making it even with the shelf. That's okay. and fixed a couple odds and ends things around the van. The refrigerator drawer, the base of it was slightly sagging and needed some additional support, so we got that in. Our cigarette lighter in the front of the van had completely stopped working, so we couldn't charge anything while we were driving. We got that replaced, and uh, that was also the moment that we realized we ordered the wrong diesel heater. Yeah. We were hoping it was going to be a plug and play situation. Everybody online said most of them are. And of course we ordered the one that was not. And to make matters even worse, Amazon does not accept them as a return. So at this point we were stuck again and we had to order yet another diesel heater. So we now have three, three diesel heaters hanging out in the van, yeah. That was fun times. <laughs> At this point, I needed a shower. So we found a Planet Fitness. And surprisingly enough, this 24 hour Planet Fitness allowed us to hang out in their parking lot. So this became our home for the next five days. And as much as I really dislike hanging out in a parking lot for that long, Having access to a daily shower again was something I didn't realize I was missing as much as I was. I also ended up using the gym to actually work out too, and that felt nice. It was a little escape from having to hang out in the van the entire time. After all of that, I can happily tell you that our diesel heater is installed. What you making? Tank box. Four. Our diesel heater. Oh my god! Our second one. And our third one's in the mail. Yeah. I'm super hopeful that my future self is filling in all of these blanks, but oh, so weird. Cody is officially in the back right now of filling up our diesel tank with just a gallon of diesel so that we can see if all of this effort that we've put in these last couple of days was worth it. <sighs> please, <laughs> please let this work. That feels weird and it looks like Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, man. let's go see. So we have our vent there. 
control panel. Yeah. Fuel tank. We're gonna put a couple of more of these up to cover it up. We just gotta try it out. Getting ready to prime the line for the first time. I can't even begin to express how amazing that feels. I almost burnt my hair last night on our Mr. Buddy heater. Yeah, almost just singed it all off. No more open flame. And the last couple of days, being able to click a button on my wall and have nice toasty heat pumping in the van has been magical. It actually allowed me to set an alarm this morning at 6 30 and be up and moving already with it only being 26 degrees outside. So out of all of the chaos we managed to make the best of it and ended up scooping up a couple of things that just made us feel good. I got some new sunglasses like I told you guys a new sweater. We both got new sweatpants. A 10 foot cable for our iPad which is amazing. We can sit in bed now and charge it which is just seems goofy but it's a little bonus and hang on one second i got an advent calendar and i did not realize how amazing these things are i would like all future gifts to be gifted this way for me i have never had one of these not even when i was a kid and i've already opened two of them and each day i I pretty much lose my shit, I'm not gonna lie. So far, I've gotten some body butter and some much needed lip gloss. So let's open number three together. Here we go. I totally just got gypped. I just got gypped on camera. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Literally just got gypped. <laughs> okay, well, number four it is then. Oh. A rosemary mint bath fizz. I I don't take baths in the van, um, but it smells really good. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is the luck of the last little bit. Anyways, it has been a really awesome co past couple of days now. We've been staying at the Salt Flats, clearly having a good time, staying nice and toasty in the van. Stick around. Hopefully things calm down a little bit and gets a little bit more exciting with sights and not things breaking. she wrote folks catch you in the next one <laughs> <laughs>